What's up guys, Lady Jervin back here with another video and today I'm going to be talking to you about the differences between a rotary engine and a piston engine or a reciprocating engine, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure many of you know the reciprocating engine or the piston engine is the most common type of engine for automobiles. Uh, piston engines are usually the ones that are like four cycle where they come in like four, six, or eight. That's generally what they come in. Because it has a reciprocating piston that goes up and down with the injection, compression, combustion, and exhaust cycles um, in that sequence um, on the very top of the piston. And their combustion type is either spark um, ignition or pressure ignition. And I will link down my spark plug video, oh, the famous spark plug video down below. Now rotary engines were used by Mazda for their RX-7s and RX-8s, no other make really used it. They are also an internal combustion engine as well, they're engines. Uh, one huge difference could definitely be is that it uses fewer moving parts in it. Just in a simple two rotor rotary engine, it has three moving parts. It uses the two rotors and the output shaft in the two um, rotor rotary engine. Even the simplest four cylinder piston that you can think of out there uses at least 30 to 40 moving parts simultaneously. It includes like pistons, connecting rods, camshafts, valves, valve springs, um, what else? Like all sorts of moving parts. Now all the parts in a rotary engine, I'll insert like images throughout the video. This diagram shows you that they do spin continuously in one direction. They're internally in their rotary engine, they're internally balanced with counterweights, which uh, cancels out pretty much any vibrations that are within the engine. So it definitely makes it for a smoother ride when you're riding it. Another thing that is kind of a difference between that, um, the piston and the rotary, is that rotary is known to be a bit slower. The rotors spin at one third the speed of the output shaft, making the overall engine just slower than the piston engine. Some difficulties of having a Winkle engine is it's hard to kind of meet emission standards in the US and the EPA. The manufacturing costs of the Winkle engine because it's not being produced anymore because Moz is not coming out with like any more kinds of Winkle engines with like cars that have Winkle engines it's going to be higher because there's fewer made. Uh, your premium can go up, your insurance costs can go up, uh, the overall cost of the car uh, can go up. Like uh, like the 1993 RX-7 that I want typically run from 12k to 16k and that's from 1993 so still it's kind of a rarity kind of like it's not a rare car but it's kind of is because not many people drive it just because they are afraid of uh, maintenance and stuff like that. They do consume a bit more fuel than the piston engine just because of the thermodynamic efficiency of their engines. But basically that is simply as simple as I can put it in how a rotary engine works. Um, I can make a video honestly really talking about rotary engines but I just wanted to make this kind of surface level just to talk to you about the differences. Basically the rotary engine uses rotors while pistons use pistons I guess. <laughs> but I, I personally just like seeing the overall like looking at a car like the RX-7 and just start overall just looking from the outside and then slowly creeping my way in the inside. So I hope this video helped somebody out there and if you guys have any I guess suggestions I'll be posting more videos up soon so I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy this video and stay tuned for more bye